Hello everyone, Carlos here again. This is gonna be keyboard shortcut number seven, which is gonna be about all enter spacebar, which is used for making formulas to be legible, okay? Formulas that when you see them, you will recognize what are they about. So for example, let's just go to this spreadsheet here and I'll show you an example, a quick one, you know, just to see something when it's formatted and another one when you apply all enter spacebar, okay? Um, let's just begin. So uh, equal, wh what I'm getting on these cells right here is pretty much saying, hey, look, I want the average unit price, which is this column, by order priority, but also only on the orders that on the shipping mode has been express air, okay? So pretty much we need an, um, an average if. What's gonna be my average range is gonna be my unit price. So you know these keyboard shortcuts that I Learn, uh, I, I taught previously, so control spacebar to select the whole column and then comma, and then I'm gonna do control range one, which is gonna be this one. So I'll do control spacebar, and now it went all the way down. But if I want to get back to it, I do control sp backspace, comma, and then uh, my criteria one is gonna be this, comma, and now I need my criteria range two, which is gonna be the column where the chipping modes are shipping mode, sorry. Control spacebar, I select the whole thing, and then control backspace to get back to my formula, comma. And now I wanna do express error, but I have to press function four, function key four, or key function four, whatever you you know call it, I call it F4. And I just wanna make the cell to be fixed, you know, so it doesn't move up and down. It can move sideways, but it can't move up and down. Okay, so I put the dollar sign, uh, before the number. So I close parentheses and then control enter. Okay. And now with the mouse, I'm just going to expand this later on another tutorial. I'll teach you how I do it with the keyboard. You know, maybe you already know it. So, okay. So I get those averages and that's fine, you know, uh, but maybe for example, if I go right here and do and see the formula, okay. The formula could be, maybe let's just expand this a little bit. The formula can just look as a simple, you know, long sentence. But with all enter spacebar, we can make it to be more, say, break it down and make it more vertical. And that really helps on legibility. So let me show you an example. So I'm gonna go right here. And for this one, for the following, I am actually gonna say, and first of all, I'm just gonna go after the equal sign, you can add a space, you know? And after the open parentheses, you can also add another space right here, another space. So. The other part, I'm gonna go right here, where actually the first comma, okay? Because what is it about? That I'm gonna actually gonna break this for this function. I'm not gonna put like a line. I'm gonna do actually all enter and at this point, all enter, and I'm just gonna with my space bar. Actually, let's just back up. Okay, let's do it again. I'll do alt enter. Oh, actually you can't see. Well, yeah, you can see, you can see. Okay, sorry, sorry for that confusion. So alt enter and then spacebar and see how I'm, I'm hitting it twice. You can actually leave it in and you can you can hold it down and it will move faster, but depending on what your style is. So I'm actually gonna put the average, average range on a, on, on a separate line. So afterwards for the criteria range one, I'll do alt enter and then I'll spacebar this all the way and I align it with the first argument, which is my pretty much my average range. And then for B5, I'm actually gonna leave it right next to the criteria range one because it's criteria one with criteria range one. And then Alt Enter and then Spacebar and align it with the second line. Once I do that guys, it's just very, I don't know, but I have, I'm adding spaces here so that was legible and then all, all Enter for the closing parentheses and then Enter. So. This is a cool thing, guys. So you can see that the average if now, I think it looks more accessible, more easier to read than just a long line. Sorry for that. Like compared to this one, okay? You can see that yeah, that's short, you know, compared to other formulas that I work with. But for example, if I see something like that, I would like it better because now I can understand rapidly what is it calculating based on what columns. It's easier with practice, you get used to it, but really it will pay you dividends, a lot of dividends, okay? So let's just go to the agenda real quick now. And what is it for? 
okay? You pretty much seen it, okay? Why is it useful for your Excel formulas? Okay, so now let's go to a real example where actually all enter is working on a very lengthy formula, okay? Something that I built, okay? And I can criticize myself. So let's check it out right here. So let's open this, close this. Now expand this. And pretty much what you're seeing here is just a table. <laughs> that actually right now is just pretty much calculating the commissions of sales for every salesman, okay? Pretty much there are a couple columns, I'm not gonna go into detail, but pretty much is actually calculating by the grading of the salesman. They all have, in ind individually, they all have one category. They also have a percentage of how much they completed their quota. And also, depending on the scales, if they made it to 100%, 120%, 140%. So you can see there's different con conditions that they have to, you know, they, they will meet in order to get a commission based on them. Now, the formula for this, for example, I'm going to go right here. And actually, I'm just going to switch this to say never, okay? And maybe we can zoom in. Why do I say never here? Because that's where the com the com the formula is. Okay, check it out. I'm just gonna open it and look at that. That's nuts. That's pretty much a formula that I built, okay? And I didn't do it like that when I built it. I actually broke it into pieces and then with help of columns, once I knew that the solution was all, you know, making sense, it was uh, actually uh, all correct, then I combined it all into one formula. Now, if you see that, that is scary. I mean, there's no way somebody can read that and say, wow, uh, I understand what he's doing it. No way. But maybe with all enter space bar, we can actually make it like this. You know, something that is actually more legible. So I'm going to actually zoom out a little bit. Okay. Ooh. Uh, sorry. So just control three and then. All right. All right. Sorry. Sorry, guys, for that. So, okay, so there you see, see, this is something more of a, looks like a BBA code, right? A macro, but it's just a formula, just that. It's just that I added space, spaces, and with all enter space bar, I actually made it so it's, I think it's easier to read, easy to follow, easy to digest, to audit, and also to comprehend how each part actually is working, okay? The thing is that it will take us a little bit of time doing all enter, but pretty much you saw how I converted the average if into something that is more vertical. The same applies here, but the only thing that you have to be careful with is how to align your arguments. So just be careful with that. Try to be as logical as possible, okay? For example, the B lookup here is actually the four parts of the B lookup are all aligned into one uh, sort of indent. And then the the zero of the EF, uh, EFNA it's actually aligned with the B lookup. So with experience and more practice, you will get some sort of idea of how the formula looks so it's legible for you, okay? And also try to think of the other person who might receive this file and might see this and say, well, okay, uh, all right, okay, this looks legible, this is what it's about, and he sort of follows along, okay? Formulas don't need to be like this, okay? It's just that I did something that, for example, um, it was it was all put in place because pretty much this is um, what the, the what the client needed. Okay, they actually wanted formula. They didn't want to have they didn't want to have too many helper columns. They actually wanted to be all in one formula. So that brings complexity, and that's what you see. But we can make that complexity to be legible at least. Okay, all right. Now uh, let me just back up and go to my the agenda. Okay. Now, this is a cool trick, okay, guys? Uh, why to color the cell where you have a formula that might be lengthy? Check this out. I think it's a nice feature. It's a small one. So, for example, here we, we have the formula that is, in that is put in place here. If we were to color this cell and we put a background, a gray color, look at this, okay? Now, let me just put a, uh, something even darker uh, uh, like this. Okay. Check it out that you can see the difference, okay? And I'm actually gonna take out the grid lines. Okay. Okay. So you can see that it's a little bit more uh, a grayish. Okay. This is kind of cool. Let's close this too. All right. And then bring this right here. All right. Okay. This is kind of cool. 
Why? Because see, if I open the formula above, it's all white. Nothing happens here. But since I put color into this cell and I open it, now that's kind of cool because actually it kind of colors all the area where all this formula takes place. So that's cool, kind of cool because actually it sort of help out on the contrast. Uh, you know, compared to the one above, actually it's all white, so it's still legible, I think. But with this area, we it sort of kind of make you your eye to be focused on, you know, have some sort of focal point to this area where the formula is. So I think it's a quick, small tip that I wanted to share with you guys. And before we close this video, okay, there's a cool adding that I just discovered by somebody in LinkedIn, and I forgot the, the name, sorry, Anur, I think it is. He, you know, he shared that there's a, an adding called Pretty Formula or Formula Editor, okay? We'll see both, but pretty much what these add-ins are doing is to help you to sort of format automatically your formula, especially if they're very long. So for example, let me just expand this, okay? So this is what you gotta do. You see this average if, you know? Pretty much we can see in one line, right? Okay. Back, back. So you go to insert and then you go to add-ins, okay? And you go get add-ins. And then once you're here, you're gonna add, put uh, pretty formulas, okay? Download both because they're different, okay? One is for like editing and the other one is to formatting. So pretty, pretty formula is for like formatting. And the other one is a uh, formula editor. So now I would advise you to download both, okay? I already did, okay? And the, this is pretty formula and the other one is gonna be formula editor. All right, and then you just add it and go, okay? Now I already have it installed. So I'm gonna open, uh, for example, formula editor, okay? And once you open it, you get a tab that is gonna be called formula, formula editor and pretty formula. Then I'm gonna click on formula that editor, this button, and this is gonna pop up. This, this is gonna come up, okay? And I'm actually gonna activate it, on toggle it, um, do off, okay? And see how it went too fast. It actually had a long line, and now it converted it automatically. So that's kind of cool. See, look at that. Look at that. It kind of converts it, but you can actually still you can fix it too. So you can delete this part right here. Actually, you can delete this part too. So you can see automatically that you know it kind of follows. What I did manually with my keyboard shortcut, all enter spacebar, this thing did it automatically. And this is nice. This is wicked, wicked, wicked nice. Let me just close this again. And actually, let's do it with pretty formula. So we go to here and we click on, on the up, uh, the tab, uh, actually the rib, uh, what's it called? That? The, the ribbon before that, so pretty formula. And then we click pretty formula here. And now, we just expand this again and see that I'm right here on this formula. So I'm gonna toggle it to be on, okay? So it's already doing the same thing with pretty formula. So they're very similar, but again, they're very, very useful, okay? Sometimes it really gets it like automatically to be already for nicely formatted. So what I'm really suggesting is to check out these add-ins and uh, kind of see formulas that you used to be very long that you actually you're scared to even touch bring them into this adding and the adding will format it in a way that it will be more legible for you to read it, okay? I think it also, maybe I'm forgetting this, that you can snap this out. So you can have you can have it right next to your formula if needed, okay? So you can have it right here, right next to it. So for example, one thing that we can also do here, say we go to the workbook that had that nasty, <laughs> well, I don't wanna say nasty in a bad way, but it's just like, you know, you don't wanna have that, okay? So now we back up and let's see what formula editor does first, okay? So we just gotta open this and right here and expand this, okay? And now toggle it to be on, okay? There we go, guys, see? That's kinda cool because even though it's not sort of identical to the, the one that I manually did, you know, for example, we compare them, okay? I will say that, you know, is better, it's actually a, a very good first step to even analyze and study the formula to understand what it does, okay? So I think it's a very, very nice adding. Go check it out. And we can also do with pretty formula, so you can see, okay? Uh, hopefully we go to never here, the column where it says never. And let's see, 
so something is happening here so it's not working i have to talk to the guys who are developing this for some reason it's not it's not grabbing it for this this case not sure why but i actually did it with formula editor so in this case actually both work okay but just in case download both and test them out and really really take advantage of the add-ins because they're for free and actually i think the guys who are making this they're still working on them uh, so kudos to them and yeah i'll see you in the next keyboard shortcut okay that we are going to be talking about if i'm not mistaken uh, i think control one to open format dialog box i think but i'm not sure but i'll see you in the next keyboard shortcut number eight thank you for watching